Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. As you can see here, the precious metals have taken a little bit of a hit today, down just over 2%, and this may be good news. Let's explore! <laughs> Yes, indeed, this is an article from CNBC. Gold slides 2% as Trump's restart plan boosts risk sentiment. There may be a little bit glimmer of hope here as we may be starting to see the birthing pains of a, of a new economy, essentially, uh, with people getting back to work in low-risk states. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that and also about these markets here in this article here gold fell as much as two percent on friday after president donald trump's new guidelines to reopen the u.s economy and encouraging early data related to potential covid 19 treatment drove investors towards riskier assets spot gold was down 1.7 percent at one thousand six hundred eighty nine dollars and twenty two cents an ounce more than sixty dollars lower than the seven and a half uh, peak hit earlier this week and concerns over the worst recession in decades. Gold and stocks are negatively correlated today with the overnight equity rally pressuring gold. The guidelines from Trump for reopening the economy have boosted equity markets, said Tai Wong, head of base and precious metal derivatives uh, trading at BMO. If stocks can extend overnight gains, it would trigger more profit taking in gold, he added. World stock markets sprinted towards a second straight week of gains after Trump laid out plans on gradual to gradually reopen the coronavirus hit U.S. economy. Bullion has an occasion moved in tandem with stock markets this year, with recent sharp sell-offs prompting investors to sell precious metals to cover their losses elsewhere. That was the that typically what happens. Uh, in a panic mode, in a panic sell, the metals are hit along with stocks. And uh, and here we can see this. There's a headline here at the top. says stocks jump towards session highs in the final hour of trading. Dow was now back up 500 points. Late on Thursday, Trump outlined a plan to ease the shutdown in a staggered three-stage process. But the plan was a set of recommendations rather than orders and left the decision largely up to state governors. You may remember in yesterday's video, I said it was time that we start thinking about reopening um, after Trump had been hinting at this for a while. And I think this was the exact right move, I believe, to because we're not a homogenous nation by any stretch here in the United States. And, it's, and, not, and because of that, many states are not feeling the hurt of these some of these hot spot states are where obviously places like New York is going to need to spend uh, a lot more time mitigating before opening much up uh, at least around the New York City area and the greater metro area maybe they can do something up you know in Buffalo or those regions but even so even for the states that are that are smaller that have very little effect on this Everybody should still uh, take heed on the recommendations. In fact, it's outlined in this plan that social distancing and, and ways to protect yourselves and your loved ones uh, and your friends, I think, is certainly uh, will prove to be valuable in helping to uh, stave this off, at least to a degree. Um, also, lifting the mood, um, a report detailed uh, encouraging data from trials of U.S. drug maker Gilead Sciences Inc.'s experimental drug Rendezivir in severely ill COVID-19 patients. The pandemic has infected more than 2 million people globally and killed 143,744 people. Many countries have extended lockdowns to curtail its spread, while central banks have unleashed a wave of monetary support measures. Risk appetite is soaring, but it might be overdone as permanent damage to the economy will see a battered U.S. consumer, said Edward Moya, a senior market analyst 
at broker OANDA in a note. Goal will remain supported by the boatload of monetary and fiscal stimulus that will be in place for the foreseeable future. In the event of a deeper pullback, the 1650 level remains key support. U.S. gold futures slipped 1.6% to 170470 which is still quite a big spread from the spot price announced, narrowing their lead over London spot prices, though, signaling hopes for an improved and strained supply chain logistics that have hampered bullion shipments to the United States to meet contract requirements. And that is something, well, I know other people like Junius Mouthby have reported and I've not been keeping up with the COMEX and, and the like and what's going to happen there with delivery with the LBMA and what that means. But if supply chains can be opened back up, I think that these these things will be fulfilled. Because it's not a matter of shortage of the actual metal. It's about supply chains. It's about a bottleneck and getting product out because of closed mines, because of closed uh, facil refineries and minting facilities that actually produce the bars, rounds, and coins. Uh, so U.S. gold futures, they slipped, narrowing the lead over spot prices. And um, among other precious metals, palladium gained 0.9% to $2,173.44 an ounce. Silver dropped 3.3%. And platinum fell 1.8%. But we're going to go back here and take a look again uh, at the precious metal prices because the uh, drop for gold is not quite as much. They, It's dropped uh, only 38 cents. It's reca recaptured some of those losses here. It's still above $15. But gold has taken a pretty big drop in dollar terms. Makes me wish I would have bought today, but I didn't see this coming. But that's just it. You never know. Whenever you make a purchase of any asset that is traded in the mar in the markets, more than likely you are going to um, have to understand the risk involved that that metal could go down, such as the case with the purchase I made. But you know, the, if you think about it, I'm, my motivations for making some purchases may be different than most stackers out there because part of what I did it was as a collection, not as a collection that's going to necessarily gain value, but just something for the stack. And, of course, availability and how long it will take to get supplies in from Europe. Um, you know, supplies, when I say that, I'm talking about coins, um, gold coins, silver coins, and the like. And from Europe is another matter. But uh, we shall see how it all plays out. Regardless, it's the chance you take whenever you buy, especially the higher the prices are, uh, the higher the prices go, um, you know, you have to weigh those purchases. Are they going to go higher? Uh, well, it seems like if it's a trajectory of seven straight days or what have you of increased uh, prices, um, it seems like it could still go higher, but it could go back too. The higher it is, uh, there's more room for it to fall than to go up, especially if it's something that it's uh, that it's uh, especially with something that's would some would consider overvalued. Silver is a different matter, but silver has been performing strangely because you know it could go up and you lose a dollar or thirty cents on silver. It's not going to hurt you as much as if you lose thirty five dollars on gold in a sense. But uh, anyways, I guess it's all relative when you think about it. But uh, nonetheless, it is interesting to see. I don't, I think these dips are short lived. Um, I believe their prices are going to go back up again soon. Um, and uh, because I believe that this opening uh, that Trump has rolled out is going to be very slow. And uh, in certain areas of the country, I think it will help with our morale and I'm all for it. I think the way it was rolled out, I think, was done very well. But I think it's going to still take some time. Because no matter what, there's going to be people that are going to be nervous out there. And more than likely, we're going to see uh, probably a second wave, regardless of what we do. Uh, typically, learn today that sometimes these pandemics do have second waves. And, and they will hit. We have to know how to handle it when it comes. Thankfully, we uh, are implementing better testing and uh, finding some treatments that are working. In fact, we just noted in that article one that can help another one. And also the other medicine, the malaria medicine they've been talking about, has been effective as well. 
So when you have more things like that, it's going to help to stem off any kind of new hot spots that may emerge so we can squash them in their tracks. Nonetheless, we have to press on. The economy's got to reboot, um, and this is a slow reboot. This is going to take a while, um, which is why I've always said that um, I don't think this, it's going to be that V type of um, uh, recovery. I think it's going to be a wide U um, or a, a very sloping upwards economy. But anything is helpful at this point. So post your thoughts below as we head into the weekend here with gold and silver prices. And I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.